I literally feel like I've stepped into a winter wonderland. Oh, it's really good. I feel very lucky to be here. But it smells absolutely Let's go see some whiskey, shall we? Hey, what a beautiful view. Hello guys and welcome to the first official day here in Lapland or Rovaniemi, Finland. We are super excited because we've woke up this morning and the sun is rising and it looks so stunning doesn't it Dean? Like, what is going on? I literally feel like I've stepped into a winter wonderland. It's absolutely beautiful. Today we've got so many exciting things planned. Uh, we're going to head off to the post office here where all the Santa mail gets delivered and then we're going to go riding on husky dog sleds which is like insane. I can't wait to see the huskies. So let's head off for breakfast. Oh, oh, oh. Da, 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 da. Making our Christmas memories I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything Welcome to the restaurant. It's really, really cozy in here. There's a big fire in the corner, and it's just really nice walking in where it's nice and warm. It's like a buffet style, so we've got some meatballs, some bacon, some vegetables. We've also got some pastries, and most importantly, we got the coffee. So I'm just gonna load up on coffee, have some breakfast, and take in all the ambiance before we go to Santa's post office. I also really appreciate the plates here. It's really rustic and nice and all the mugs and stuff. It just has a really cozy vibe. Just checking the weather forecast right now. Minus 16. Lovely. We just come out from breakfast and it was so nice, wasn't it, Dean? Yep. Anyway, minus 16. We're gonna head to the post office, I think, and see Santa's post office. If you are planning a trip to Finland, definitely get something that goes over your face and nose because your nose gets so cold so quickly. I mean, that might be pretty obvious, an obvious thing to do, but Dean hasn't got a scar and he's pretty cold. Anyway, so we're heading back to the Arctic Circle if you watched my last yeah. vlog. Ooh, we're gonna have a look at that. Ooh, what is this? If you watched my last vlog, you will know that this resort sits right on the Arctic Circle. So you can actually cross the boundary into the Arctic Circle. Uh, so we'll show you over there. Uh, but now we're just having a look at all these huts and everything. Ooh, what is it? It's reindeer and stuff. Husky Park, Arctic Snowmobile Park, Nova Skyland, Elf's Farmyard. Wow, the reindeers. Well, I've got a nice fire pit outside. Also got this hut you can sit in. This is Santa Claus's reindeer village. Nice. Oh, there's a nice fire over here to warm your hands. Oh, it's reindeers. Oh my gosh, Dean. I can't believe it. That is so cool. So you can literally get the reindeer rides over here and they take you around. We're going to be doing this another day. Oh, there is our first reindeer spotting in Finland. Right here is the line to the Arctic Circle. Do you want to cross the Arctic Circle, Dean? Look at this huge Christmas tree. You're about to step into the Arctic Circle. Minus 14 degrees. There we go. He's crossed the line. You're officially in the Arctic Circle, Dean. Woohoo! We're crossing to the Arctic Circle. Are you ready? Hey. I'm in it. Dean's gone inside this Jolu Pucky. Santa Claus, have a look inside here. Oh, apparently Santa is here. Oh, look at these little Santas. Oh. Oh. Wow, oh yeah, that shop looks really cool. It's like some cool home <laughs> decor stores here. With all the Christmas stuff. Nice. I wish we had space in our suitcase. 
They smoke. I love them. They look nice and chunky. I don't know what these are, but it's like a jelly. A jelly sweet. I've never seen them before. And there's another one here. And some sort of orange one as well. Scandinavian designs are just so pretty. I love it. There's another shop through here as well. Oh, so many nice things. Oh, look at all this Christmas stuff. What a nice Christmas mug. Oh my gosh, Moomin napkins. Moomins come from Finland. I'm pretty sure it's a Finnish book and Finnish illustrator. Oh, that's so cool. I hope I see more of them. Oh, Moomin cups. Look at them. They're so pretty. If only we hadn't just bought one cabin case between us, <laughs> I'd be buying a lot more stuff, specifically Moomin merch. Uh, look at all this stuff. I love it in here. Oh, look at those fireplaces. This is what I've been seeing everywhere in the corners of the houses. Even the airport had one of these big fires on. I'm still blown away that just every time you pass a window, you just have this beautiful snowy scene outside. We're gonna go through this gift shop where you meet Santa. How cool is this? Whoa, oh, look at this room. Oh, it's got cool music on. Wow. Disciple like walking in the back of the workshop where all the elves would be working and everything. That's what it feels like. And then we're gonna go to Santa's workshop. Through these doors. Whoa, is Santa in here? I think we've just joined some sort of tour or group. Oh, sorting office. Felipe's kitchen, let's have a look in here. <laughs> it's a screen, you can see an elf in there cooking. Look through there, Dean. It's funny, isn't it? There's another one here as well. Here we've got a time regulator and Christmas time. That's how Santa gets all his presents to everyone. Let's look, have a look at the baby reindeer doll. Oh, that's so cool. 33 days till Christmas. By the time you guys are watching this, it'll probably be 24 days till Christmas, depending on when you're watching it. 33 days till Christmas, how exciting. I love the music that they're playing throughout here. It's like really cute, magical Christmas music. We are actually going to Santa Park, I think in the next vlog. So we'll probably see Santa then, because it was kind of a big queue um, to see him. And I want to go to the post office. So I think that's where we're going to head now. We're going to see all the posts from around the world that gets delivered right here in Rovaneni. We're just in the Christmas store to come out. Look at this huge fireplace. Norm shower jelly all these cute Christmassy goodies. Oh, little husky teddies and reindeer teddies. Look at these tiny little boots. Currently snowing. There's a very fine layer of snow at the minute. I feel like we got really lucky. What is that loud noise? I feel like we've been super lucky because literally if we came last week, there wouldn't have been any snow. We've been keeping our eye on the live stream that you can see and it, there wasn't any snow. All there was a frost on the roof, so. Uh, but I feel really lucky to be able to come when the snow has laid. Over here, they've got these little domes that you can sit in. That'll be nice and toasty inside and you can have a meal in them. And they're all set up really pretty with candles in the middle. Look at this view, I mean, is this insane or what? I've noticed as well, cause there's only a few hours of daylight here that the sun always looks like it's rising or setting. So it's always got that like beautiful glow in the sky. Like, oh, you know, the camera's not picking it up, but I just, I can't believe it. I feel very lucky to be here. And this is really a Christmas wonderland. Uh, it's like what every Christmas lover would dream of when they think of like somewhere like this. It's perfect. Here we go, I think this is it. Santa's main post office. Oh, that's cute. You can send a postcard to yourself and they'll send it off for you. For only one euro. Oh, we've got some Moomin ones as well, look. 100,000 letters from about 200 countries arrived to Santa Claus's main post office every year. The elves have opened and read about 20 million wishes. Wow, and these are all the letters. I love the little fire in the corner. This is a little post office. 
because I've got all sorts of cute postcards and stuff that you can send off. So you can post out a postcard and it'll come with a special stamp that's not used anywhere else in the world. That says uh, Finland and then it has like the Arctic Circle stamp so you post them here. Which I think, are we going to do that? We're going to post some postcards. So I'm going to pick the best postcard. Over here, which are really cute moving one. I picked these three cards. I've got Santa's Village on, and we just write them out, and then we get them stamped, and then we post them out, and they should arrive. So I'm actually going to send myself one. So these are the special stamps. You got to pick a few. I picked these ones with Santa on it, and it says Finland. So we need to put them on the top, and then we post it in the mailbox. Look how cute the stamps look. They look so cute, right? Okay, now it's time to post it. Don't run to myself. Hot berry juice. Cheers. Cheers. So we've come into this teepee looking place with a fire in the centre called the salmon place and they literally just serve like salmon and they cook it on a fire in the centre and we're all wrapped up warm so we've ordered some salmon and we've got some hot berry juice which is like perfect for a freezing cold day. Dean just said it's delicious. Mmm. Oh, that is really good. It's like hot black currant juice. Oh, that warms you up, doesn't it? Mmm, <gasps> that's so nice. Thank you. Thank you. Yum. That's huge. So our salmon's arrived. It's a huge piece of salmon. You get warm crusty bread as well. Then you also get a pot of potato salad. But it smells absolutely amazing. Oh, it's crispy from the fire. That is delicious. All the skins come crispy from the fire and char grilled. Mmm, perfect. finished up having our lunch that smoked salmon was so delicious me and Dean shared it but the portion is huge it's just a massive slab of salmon it's really really nice anyway there's a little workshop souvenir gift shop behind us which I think we're gonna have a little look in then we're getting picked up to do the husky dog sled I'm so so excited but also a little bit nervous because Dean told me that we're the ones driving the husky dog sled <laughs> so I don't know how that's gonna turn out Wow the Sun just looks so beautiful it's currently about half one and look at that it looks like sunset already I will say if you're asthmatic remember to bring your inhaler because the cold air really like hits your chest like a big smack in the chest oh there's a gift shop here should we look in here Dean this wooden hut hey Santa Ugh. oh Mmm, smells like wood, like a wood cabin. Each shop we've been in has like a little pretend corner fire. So cute, and some of them have real fires. It would be blasphemous not to get a Christmas ornament while we're in Lapland, am I right? We're just walking past a little cafe inside one of the gift shops, and we've seen that the serve reindeer. We had reindeer kebab and reindeer burger. We're gonna go wait at reception now for the pickle. But look at the queue outside the salmon place now. We went at the perfect time. We just walked in and got a spot. But now there's a big queue out the door to get into that salmon bar. So yeah, get early if you can. But it is like one, half one. So prime time to eat. But look at the queue. 
be huge here. But anyway, let's go see some huskies, shall we? Right, we just need to get the bus. How cool is this bus stop, Dean? <laughs> this is the coolest bus stop. How many bus stops do you know that are in like a little teepee thing? And now we just have to wait for the bus. Here it is. Hello. Are you excited, Dean? resort, the Apuka resort and I think this is where the huskies are. There's, I think there's several places you can actually do this but this is a resort you can actually stay in as well and um, it looks absolutely beautiful. We've got hunts and stuff here look it's so cool. I think we actually get like a hot chocolate and stuff after as well. Wow there's like snow. The scenes are so nice. Oh there's like ice sculptures here. All different shapes and stuff like stars. Dean's just gone in here to ask about the dogs. We're just sat in the lobby area and the guide is going to come get us in a little bit. There's a little husky teddies uh, with Santa hats on. It's really cosy in here. So we're just getting all kitted up. We're getting boots and uh, like snow gears. We're all kitted up. You like, get given boots and a snow like suit and gloves. So I'm actually wearing gloves on top of gloves and we're ready to go. Come on Dean. This is my outfit. I didn't have to worry about my legs being too clogged because you get kitted out. Ta da! The boots are a little bit too big for me though, so I hope they don't like slide around or anything, but I'm ready! walking into the forest where the huskies are. Dean's driving first. Hello Dean. The dogs are super excited. Oh, I'm kind of scared. Oh my gosh. Oh, what? 
This one's like, give me it as well. Oh, 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 Big scratches for you and you. Oh, I need a warm it. I need to get warm by the fire. Out of uh, berries that grow here locally, and then there's some grapes and apple for added sugar. <laughs> Be careful, you don't burn your mouth. This is boiling hot. But it cools down quite fast as well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So see you, mate. Thank you. You're welcome. Yep. Oh, look at that. Cheers, Dean. Cheers. I like the old traditional cups as well. So we're just sat having some warm berry uh, juice again Sunday. and we got some biscuits as well and oh this is perfect after being out in the snow it's like minus 16. Mm. I want the recipe for this hot berry juice because it is so nice. Mm. You have the strong ones those are kind of like the engine of the sled. We call them the wheel dogs as in steering wheel because they do the turning around the corners so that therefore they need to be they need to be big boys at the back and uh, we can change the composition of the teams they don't always run in the same position because we want to keep it interesting for them but obviously not all the dogs are capable of running lead they work well with all kinds of people so for example if we have malamutes malamutes are two three times the size of these dogs so they're huge people tend to be a bit afraid of them and they're not meant for you know, fast running, they're meant for pulling heavy loads, long distances, slow speeds. There's little husky puppies in here. Oh, look, these are only puppies as well, then, though, guys. Oh, oh. They grow fast. So, this one, his name is Olka, and I said Olka is three months old. Hey, baby. Aww. If you guys want to hold him, you can. One hand goes under the bum, one under the chest like this, and hold him next to you. Yo, hyvä Olka boy. Hieno Olka. And Olka is classic Siberian husky. Blue eyes, fluffy fur. I wonder if he has a little bit of Alaskan in him though, because his ears are not completely straight. Olka is, uh, he's very chill, he's very relaxed with new kind of situations. So, and also he's starting to, um, to show some nice character. I'm suspecting that Olka will become a leader dog. Oh, he's so heavy. Well, that was really, really fun. And such a nice trip. Me and Dean are so cold right now. Oh, bloody nose hairs are freezing. I know my nose hairs. Like, like, no, I don't mean freezing cold. I mean like actual icicles up my nose. Uh, well, look, there's Christmas trees behind us and everything, but we're gonna uh, get changed, take our ski stuff off, um, and then head back to the resort. It feels super late, but I don't think it's late at all. Um, I'm gonna head back to the resort, get a Chinese, because I think there's a Chinese restaurant on the resort, or find somewhere to eat, and then get in the sauna, I think. So in about 20 minutes, we get picked up from the transfer bus, so we're just having a nice hot chocolate. I'm gonna share this, and then we're gonna get picked up and then go for dinner, I think. Mm -hmm. They've got like a little outside oven here. How cool is that? You can light a fire and make a pizza, I suppose. Me and Dean were saying, like, when it gets below minus 10, uh, that's when things start getting like a bit more uncomfortable outside and a bit more unbearable on like the old eyeballs and that. Yeah, but here's a restaurant. Wow, looks so pretty. Is it open, Dean? So we will go back to the room we went to the garage and bought some milk i'll make myself a coffee we'll have a little chill a little warm up a little phone charge and then head back to that restaurant oh home sweet home there's a restaurant right there oh it looks so beautiful okay we came back to the room i had a little nap and now we're gonna go out for dinner Oh, I've got Christmas music out here. Oh, oh wow. Okay, it looked really beautiful in there. 
very cosy vibes however it is a buffet for all of the dinner and breakfast and if you're new to our channel me and Dean have actually lost eight stone and ten stone so 18 stone between us uh, with the help of a gastric bypass so we actually can't eat that much it was 40 euros each for a buffet and we felt like it probably wasn't worth it for me and Dean so we are going to have a look what other restaurants are is available see what else we have to offer if not we can go back to where we had breakfast this morning but we see like a Chinese in a pizza place a bit further down uh, so we're just going to have a walk around the Santa village and see what there is come on Dean it's a pretty cool backdrop behind you right now Dean we found a Chinese golden bowl dim sum Asian cuisine just out the back here so is it open wow we got the restaurant to ourselves this is more like it they've got like steamed buns goises and noodles and rice oh this was a good choice Dean. do you want to do the grand reveal oh steamed buns we've got bao buns chicken noodle soup and fried dumplings thank you that chicken soup looks like the most warming thing I've just been on FaceTime to my mum and I said it feels like my windpipe down here is frozen. <laughs> you know, like the pipes are frozen. Literally down here it feels cold. So, ooh, Dean's trying the chicken soup. Is that good? Oh, I can't wait. It's going to warm me right up. We actually got some soup and one of the bao buns, which was delicious, boxed up because now we're going to head back to our room and get in the sauna. Let's just take a minute to appreciate this absolute beauty you know what time it is it, it's sauna time we've got to wait for this to warm up and then i'm gonna get warm in here oh it's ready dean put it on 75. do we need water in here oh it is oh this is cool so you get this bucket and then i'll pour it on Then all steam comes out, but I need to shut the door. Just had a really nice time in the sauna. Dean is still in there. Literally, I can only last like five minutes. Really hope you're enjoying these Lapland series. Please don't forget to leave a like and comment if you've been enjoying it. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more travel videos. I'll see you in the next one when we will be going to Santa Park. So super excited for that and seeing Santa Claus for the first time this trip. I'll see you in the next one. All right then. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.